The film starts with a couple. Both were husband and wife. The wife's name was Maya. They love each other a lot. They were living happily. Maya comes to know that she is pregnant. She tells this to her husband. He happily says let's have a party on such a happy occasion. He goes to get alcohol. Some mischievous boys try to stop him outside the store. But he ignores them and goes inside. He came back to his house with a bottle of alcohol. But all these people followed him to his house. And they begin to beat him. At that time, his wife Maya was in the bathroom. But these people break the bathroom and come inside. They forcefully kick her out of the bathroom and beat her. Seeing this, her husband says the same thing again and again. Please don't beat her. She is pregnant, don't do this to her. Have mercy on her. But that boys don't stop. After having a fight for some more time, they leave. On the other side, we see a woman in the house. She suddenly dies. She is actually Maya's aunt. That's why both of them come to stay at her house. Because after her death, the house was empty. There was no one to stay there. So after traveling long, these people reach the forest. Because the aunt's house was here. Here they meet a woman who was the head of this place. She tells them that your aunt was a very nice woman. I was very impressed with her habits. I used to be very close to her. Then she takes them to a door. And tells them that your aunt used to keep some pieces of meat on a plate. Hearing this, Maya asks surprisingly. Really, for whom did she keep it? On this, the head answers, for the small, i.e. dwarf goblin the poor people. They have a separate group. They are known as redcaps. First, your aunt's husband died. Because of a terrible disease. After that, she used to live sadly. Because of those small people, i.e. redcaps were blaming her. After that, your aunt realized that they are saying this to me. Because I didn't feed them for a few days. So it is possible that they must have felt bad. And must have cursed me. And this happened to me. First, my husband and then my child died. So now I want you, Maya, to take this tradition ahead. Because you are going to be a mother. I don't want this to happen to you too. On this, Maya happily says why not, don't worry. I promise you that from now on I will take this tradition forward. I will take my aunt's place. Maya gets a picture here. In which there was a small child. Looking at which she understands that she must be my aunt's daughter. Today she goes to the supermarket. From where all the necessary things were available. They buy a lot of things from there. When these people go to the counter to give money. Then the owner of the store does not take money from them. Saying that you have come to stay in that house. So I am not taking money from you. So they happily take the things and start going from there. On the way, they stop at a deserted place. Where a family used to live. Whose name was the Whalen family. They both go to a bar. Where all these people were staring at them at the first glance. Then suddenly everyone becomes normal and welcomes them. When they sit, an old man comes to them. Says that son, always remember one thing of mine. And keep your wife away from their children and the head of that family, Waylon. Now the owner of the bar, the head. Says that I had put a responsibility on you. Did you give the food to the redcaps? Hearing this Maya says, oh shit, I forgot that they also have to put food. Hearing this, the head takes Maya aside. And says what did you do? You did not put food. They must be hungry, give them food. Now, we see that old man. He was passing through the jungle. He also had his dog with him. Who suddenly frees himself and runs away from there. Then the old man came to the jungle to find him. Where suddenly an unknown thing that looked like a monster. Attacks him and kills him. Then the next morning, when Maya and her husband wake up from sleep. They realized as if a ghost has entered their house. When they check, there was the Whalen family. For setting the things of their house. For making their house completely new. Maya finds this whole family, especially Waylon very strange. Then later these two go to the store again to buy things. This time they also take food. And along with that some pieces of meat. For those dwarf goblin people. I.e. redcaps. After buying things, they go to their aunt's grave. To offer flowers. Here a father also comes, who was telling both of them. That you must have come to know. That your aunt's child has also died, who was a girl. But that girl's dead body has not been found to date. Hearing this, both are very surprised. While going home, these two meet the head. 
Maya asks her you said that aunt's son has died. But the father has told us that his dead body has never been found. Then the head tells the truth. By saying actually, your aunt had made a deal with those dwarf goblins. The deal was that she wanted to save her husband from illness. In exchange for curing the disease, the dwarf goblins have asked for your aunt's daughter. So she had to give her daughter to the dwarf goblins. Hearing this Maya does not believe it. And these two leave from here. When Maya goes to the washroom to take a bath. Then she sees at the window, and a man was there. Who was actually Waylon elder son. While standing there, he begins to stare at Maya. She gets very scared, and comes out screaming loudly. When Waylon comes to know this. Then he tells both of them. That on this action of my son. I apologize to both of you. I am feeling very ashamed. After saying this, he beats his son a lot. Now Maya had also come to the door to put food to the redcaps. She puts the pieces of meat in the plate. And keeps them there. But after a while, she gets surprised to see. That the plate is completely empty. Seeing this Maya was convinced, really. That the dwarf goblins, i.e. the redcaps live here. The next day, the Whalen family comes here again. And starts their work again. During this, a window breaks from Whalen's son. From this, Maya's husband feels very bad. And they argue with each other. That's why Waylon had also come here. And when he sees that it is my son's fault. Then he beats him a lot but Maya stops him. To stop it, don't beat him, and leave him. When he hears this he leaves him. In this way, Waylon's son's life is saved. Then after a while, he hears a barking of a dog. She feels that this dog must be of that old man. Who had run away into the jungle. And now maybe he has come back. While thinking this, she goes to the jungle. There she finds that dog. But it brings Maya near a hut. When she looks inside, the place was quite deep. Which was actually a cave. Seeing this she also thinks. That who must have made this cave in the middle of the jungle. Because there were a few lamps there. And they all were burning. When she was coming back after ignoring this. Then she sees Waylon's son there. Who had come here after being sad. She goes to him and tries to cheer him up. She says don't feel bad. You are very good, and you are doing a very good job. I really like your work very much. After hearing this, he also holds Maya's hand. He says that you also saved my life. I thank you for this. And really you are very beautiful. I like you very much. Saying this, he starts misbehaving with her. Then Maya gets shocked to see this. That some unknown thing, which was looking like a kind of monster. He attacks Waylon's son. After killing him, he pulls her and takes her with him. She comes home in a hurry. And tells everything to her husband. She also says come with me. I want to show you something. She takes him across the way where the redcap used to stay. Here is some unknown thing. Which was looking like a monster. Has taken him with him after pulling him. In a way, he helped me. Hearing this, her husband doesn't believe Maya's words. He starts getting angry with her. That maybe you have gone mad. Okay, leave these things. Hurry up and go home. I have to go to the bar. When he comes to the bar. Then both the children of Waylon had also come here. Then they ask him that we're not finding our brother. Tell me where is he. Maybe you have seen him. On which Maya's husband says I don't know. I haven't seen anyone. But these people still start misbehaving with him. They start shouting at him. From this, the head of the bar gets very angry. And she tells them to leave immediately. Go away from my bar. And when Maya was alone in the house. She feels as if there is someone else in the house. When she looks at the door. She gets very surprised. Because a very small monster. Who was a dwarf gobin. Entered the house. Who also had a bag of plastic in his hand. Maya gets very scared seeing him. She starts getting aside. And he comes to Maya. He takes the same bag. And leaves from here without saying anything to her. But before leaving, she captures the picture of the dwarf Gobin i.e. Redcap. Now when she checks the bag. She sees inside and her condition deteriorates. Because the cut head of Waylon's son was inside it. Then at night, her husband also comes home. Where Maya tells him everything. That today I saw those dwarf goblins. That is the Redcaps for the first time. They came to our house. Now when her husband checks that bag. Then he also gets very scared. Maya also shows him the picture of the red cap. 
which she had captured secretly. Now, the Whalen family had also come outside. He says from outside to open the door. We want to talk to you urgently. I am not getting one of my sons. And I doubt that he is with you. Hearing this, they close the rest of the doors of the house. And from inside Maya's husband says. That your son is not with us. So you go from here. If you don't go, then I will call the police here. Now hearing this, the Whalen family. Cut off all the wires of their house through which they could contact the police. Now, in order to throw that bag, Maya, secretly starts going from here. But Waylon's daughter had seen him, and she also gets that bag. When she checks the bag, she finds out that our brother has been killed. But before that she says something to Maya, and she had run away from here. After leaving that door, she reached the area of Redcaps. Waylon had also come to know that his son has been beheaded. He doubts these two. That's why he tells his two children to set fire to this house immediately. After which they started setting fire to the entire house. Then Waylon's son too catches Maya's husband and begins to beat him a lot. There Maya had also come to the forest. And she comes here and says loudly. That Redcaps where are you? Please come out quickly and help me. Some people also want to kill. But there is no answer to this. But when Waylon's daughter was setting the house on fire, she was very surprised to see. The house's fire is extinguishing gradually. And with this, all the redcaps come inside the house, which attacks Waylon and his daughter. They had come to help Maya and her husband in a way. Waylon and his son get very surprised to see these redcaps, i.e. the dwarf goblins. They were thinking that we had only heard in books. But they really exist. Till then Maya had also come back. When Waylon's daughter sees her, she tries to kill her. Where Redcaps come to them, they release Maya and tie Waylon's daughter there. After beating her, they begin to torture her. They give her so much pain that she dies finally. After this, these Redcaps capture the sons of Waylon too. They also beat him and make him suffer. And finally, they kill him. Then in an injured condition, Maya's husband also comes to her. But by then Waylon had also come to them. He had a gun in his hand. He fires his husband with one bullet. Then he goes to Maya. And in anger, he says you have killed my three children. That's why now I will take my revenge from you. I will not only kill you but also your children. With which you will also suffer. Like I am suffering. But then the old man's dog comes here. Which attacks Waylon, and the gun falls down from his hand. And now Maya picks it up. She shoots a lot of bullets with this gun at Waylon and kills him. Finally, the lives of both of them are saved. On the same night, Maya has a beautiful son, with which both of them are very happy. Now, Maya was working inside the house. So the redcaps come here, and pick up their child and take him with them. Maya had already seen them. She starts following them, to save her child. She had come to the same cave, where the redcaps stayed. As soon as she comes inside the cave, she sees an old woman here. Her child was also lying there, and Maya recognizes her. She says you are my aunt's daughter. And yes, I know why you are here. Your mother had given you to these redcaps. But look, I did not give my child to them. In fact, they have come to pick him up. I have come to take my son by myself. Please return me my son, please. But the old woman, despite explaining a lot, she refuses to give her child. By hearing this she gets so angry that she attacks and kills this woman. Along with this, she also kills many redcaps. After which the remaining redcaps bow down in front of Maya. Because from today Maya had become their mother. After leaving from here, Maya goes straight to her husband. Along with her, there were many redcaps who were calling her mom. She gave her child to her husband. Because she was going from here with the redcaps. From now on, she will also stay in that cave. The way the old woman used to stay with the redcaps. By becoming their mother. The movie ends with this. Thanks.